I would like, if I may, to take the... <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. This is the official <laughs> unboxing of the Osmo Pocket that has been donated by our new sponsor, Matthew Charrington, Matthew Charrington Productions. We're going to try this. This is not my forte. I am trying to do the best I can. I am an old photographer, uh, mechanic, graphic artist, but I am not. A spokesperson but we will uh, give it our shot so this is the Osmo pocket and I will be opening it this is the adapters that are supposed to allow this to work with this these are not designed to work with older cell phones these are designed to work with basically anywhere's from a 700 to a thousand dollar phone Ah, uh, the old gopher don't have that. So, we have redone research and found that these adapters have a 50-50 ratio of working with older series phones. Osmo Pocket officially does not support the older US, mini USB or micro USBs. They only support the Lightning for the Max and the new C series USB C series connectors for uh, the Androids. Um, the phone's powerful enough. It has the Android up. I was finally, after almost two hours, able to download and install the Mimo app, which is the editing software and/or controlling software, to be able to use this and plug it in. So we won't know until we plug it in. So those are the adapters. This is an accessory kit that I'll be opening here. This is an accessory kit that allows more, uh, with my bad hands, ability to do scrolling and panning work. Also has the wireless module, so I can plug the wireless module in it and mount this to devices such as this camera that's up here. Uh, and uh, step away and run it from my phone that way in theory I'm hopefully being able to set this down and pan and tilt and do things without my shaky hands getting in the way um, I think there's another type of uh, a gimbal mount in here and uh, to mount it so it'll mount to a lot of the uh, uh, GoPro devices and there should be and that's the reason I got this kit because normally it would have been hundred and seventy dollars and it was hundred and three dollars in this specific kit um, and it's supposed to have a SD card also that's made for this and hopefully it does and then finally we have the hand mount here and I love the packaging from everything's from China and whatever this is a handheld that Produce, that allows you to take the phone and the pocket and put them together and then mount them securely instead of it just hanging there. Since it's designed for the C port, which has more stability and more rigidity, um, the USB mini doesn't and they just tend to fall out. I got this and it has a handle built into it, so we will see how all that is. So this is the stuff that I will be opening and laying out here. I'm not going to open it as I record because that's craziness to me. Like I said, I'm an old photographer. I don't know how to do these newfangled whatever unboxings and stuff, but I'm doing my best because it was requested, so we will do that. Let's get this stuff opened. All right, so we're back. Um, I just couldn't see uh, taking everything out of the box and filming that as anything interesting. It doesn't thrill me, so <laughs> I just didn't do it. So what we have, is, of course, is the, the phone. We have the Osmo Pocket itself with the USB-C charging and data transfer cable, a lanyard, the adapter for a uh, lightning phone and the adapter for the C phone. Of course the books and paperwork and everything that I really should read but 
Ah, my DNA is not going to allow me to do that right now, but <laughs> if I have any trouble. Then, of course, these are the adapters, and I believe it's that one right there that we need to hook that phone to this, in theory. And then this is the kit and the paperwork that we got, and this is the wireless module, the scrolling, panning, tilting wheel. This is basically a adapter to go to most GoPro mounts and from my reading it's useless and then of course we have a micro SD card inside a standard SD card adapter and we have this mount and this is the one that's supposed to allow the pocket to be mounted here and slide into the phone to make that stable and it's a pretty cool it's got adjustable mounts um, so that I can hold it with my crappy hands and uh, then it can be yeah, moved around and these come out this way yes this way so these come out so that it can be set as a mini tripod for uh, slow motion or hyper ex uh, exposures or whatever and stuff like that so we're gonna see how that works so the first thing to do is we're going to slide the Osmos Pocket out of its body condom. Comes in this nice little case. And we'll open it, pull it out, set it there so we can lose it, I'm sure. And it comes with this little slide here, comes off. And then. Like I said, the one that we need, I believe, is this one right here. And it slides on thusly, trying not to touch the back of the contacts, because trust me, old technician, you do not want your fingers on oily fingers on contacts and stuff. So there we go. So that's slid on. Now it has a screen protector. It has a gimbal lock and a gimbal screen protector. I do not know if this even has any juice in it, but we're going to find out here in a minute. So let's pull the gimbal lock out, the gimbal screen protector off, the touch screen protector. Come on, shaky hands. Yes, buddy. gimbal screen protector off and in theory the MIMO apps in I should be able to plug this in turn this on ooh look at that and we want English yes yes there we go and now we need to plug it in and see if it will be recognized and activate well, look at that it says that it stopped working all right so let me see here We'll say OK. Wow. Lots of stuff that I can't read and do this at the same time. Mm hmm. And it says I must agree, so I'll agree. Next. So I have to go proof of warranty, so I got to log in.
All right, this looks like it's going to take a while, so we'll come back to this. We'll see what happens, because it looks like it's going to be a session. All righty, so that took an extremely long amount of time. What it had to do is I had to open an account, set the account, go through all these passwords and everything, got that done. Then it had to do an update of the Osmos itself. So it firmware update, set it all up and everything. Now, I've got it in, got it on, and it's running. And I don't know if you can see, but as I set it up, I'm going to turn it around here so that you can actually see the way that the head floats so it's pretty interesting this is not the best amount in the world there's a little alignment issues and so forth so I've got it all hooked up this primarily I haven't tried any of the other peripherals and devices I have the SD card in it I am going to try and do some short video of the inside office here and see what it looks like and this is the best I could do, Matt. <laughs> this is not my forte. I will start using this for, well, I have to, one of the cameras. But it was an old camera. It was an old burnt, beat-up camera that burned up uh, last show at the cruise in. So we're going to start using this. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it functions and put up. Uh, I wish I was better at doing this type of thing for everybody. But like I said, this isn't my forte. I uh, I just take pictures of cars so we're going to uh, go on from here and see what's going on and I'll post up some videos and so far I'm loving it I just gotta learn to use it just like anything else thanks again and uh, thank you to our sponsor Matthew Charrington Productions uh, link below Okay, one thing that did happen is this phone with the Osmos running plugged into it uh, started to overheat and came up with a thermal warning, a thermal failure warning. So I'm not sure if this phone plugged into the Osmos was more than transferring data or um, electricity, um, one scavenging from the other, or however, it shouldn't be, but. Uh, that's a possible thing uh, but this phone may or may not be able to be used plugged in I will try and test it with the wireless unit uh, sometime soon maybe not today and maybe not before I get to use it but I can just hold the pocket I don't have to have it attached to the phone the phone was just an easier way to run the gimbal but uh, and view with my bad eyes and stuff but I do have this that plugs in that allows me to control the gimbal up and down left and right um, without uh, the little screen you know trying to view on the little screen so that's why I got that so that's uh, one thing that I noticed was uh, the heat issue so we'll see how this works and it'll be an ongoing thing and like I said I'm gonna shoot some video and probably have whatever video I get out of the Osmos in the room here after it's fully charged because it wasn't didn't have much juice left in it We'll uh, see what the Osmos looks like and see how it handles and see the steadiness of it. So, we're working. <laughs> All right, so here is what it looks like. I got it to cool down. I got the phone to cool down. Mom's over there. Wave, Mom. There we go. So, Mom's over there. We're going to go down through here and see what happens. This is the computer display room. So that's interesting. Seems a little glitchy every now and then, but that's probably because this is a cheap, cheap phone. And uh, I'm not sure whether I've got it set up to record to the phone or record to the SD card. So here's a trade-in scrap computers. 
and then computers from the county that needs to be gone through and uh, Muzzle Mike I got a radio here that I'm gonna try and send you not sure uh, if you can do anything with it but we'll see and more computers and more computers and more computers and computer components and things and stuff and whatever so uh, that's a short video of walking and moving around with it set on a uh, the free gimbal pan and uh, notice that it's uh, it does get a little closer to things than some of my other cam definitely than the action cam and we'll see how that uh, equates into uh, videoing cars so that's a test okay on further inspection and looking at the video playback uh, from the computer it does take a second for a, you know minuscule amount of time but it does take time for it to do the focus since it's not a flat field of focus like an action cam an infinity focus it does take a few seconds for it to focus in not sure if that'll be as bad outside as it is in here but we will see so the next time you see video from this hopefully it will be at a car show more or less a trial by fire type of thing so this for real is it got as much video as I can get Matt hope this helped um, I really like it it's really cool and the nice thing is it's so compact and it takes away so much more that I have to carry I modified the mount here a little bit as you can see we uh, heated it and bent it into the proper direction it wasn't quite you know aligned and it was starting to it would give me a signal disconnected disconnected so we've got that fixed but like I said this was a very cheap mount uh, basically just to give me something that my old hands could hang on to and the, where I could run the the pan tilt thing so we'll see we're already starting to modify to make it work you know how we got to do it thanks again Matt you're one in a billion. See ya! Damn, that was annoying. <laughs>